please rise for the Pledge to the Flag. Good morning, Cedar Crest. It's Friday, November 11th. I'm Pamela Kapolka. Welcome to this week's edition of In Flight. Today, we will be highlighting Veterans Day. Coming up, we talk to veterans in our community, fellow Falcons enlisted in the military, and a freshman making a difference. We'll be right back with all of this and your school news. Veterans Day is a day to remember and give thanks to those who serve to protect our freedoms. For many years, the Cornwall Lebanon School District has organized a breakfast to honor both veterans and active military members for their service to our country. Each year, approximately 200 veterans and active military attend along with their guests. BV3 correspondents Sarah Russo, Zoe Shea, and Hillel Liberty spoke to local veterans about their experiences and what Veterans Day and the breakfast mean to them. One of the things that was important to me was the discipline that you receive, that you didn't have before the military. I needed basically a kick in the butt and the Marine Corps did that for me and, and really helped me organize myself and gave me a lot more self-discipline. In the Navy, when we arrived, you went through a door that said through these portals walk the women of the greatest Navy in the world. And you thought, oh boy. And then you got inside and there was a big sign. Yours is not to wonder why, yours is but to do or die. And you went, ah. Oh. So you knew right then that was a clue. There's the right way, the wrong way, and the Navy way. And you learned to do it the Navy way. For those in the military, Veterans Day is a special day to remember all those who served, not only the ones who perished, but also the ones who lived to tell the tale of their experiences. I think it's great for the people in the community to come in and, and see it also. And it's great for the veterans knowing that people support them. It's a very important day to me for all the people who have served their country, particularly the ones who lost their lives or have been injured permanently. And we owe them a very, very great debt. We need a time to remember the men and women who gave their lives for our freedoms today. And I think that those who didn't give their lives, but they've served, they were there. And without that, you wouldn't have the free country you're living in. We enjoy a lot of freedoms that we don't realize why we have them. It's because of them. Not only does the annual breakfast honor veterans and active military members, but it also recognizes the select few high school students who have enlisted. We talked to some fellow Falcons about why they enlisted in the military and what Veterans Day means to them. James Fry, the Marine Corps. Michael Velez, United States Army. Jacob Demahowski, United States Marine Corps. I joined the military to protect what I love most about this country. Just the freedom to be who you want to be and do whatever you want to do in pursuit of happiness. I didn't want to go to college and I didn't want to have like a desk job. And I found out about the Army. That's the first branch I seeked and that's all I've done so far. It's a great opportunity to learn discipline and you know you meet new people and it's a great way to serve your country. I'm thankful for leaving here and I'd like to do whatever I can to like sort of earn my privilege. This might be kind of cliche but my military role models is pretty much everybody who died to protect this country. My sergeant, his name is Sergeant Montez, he got relocated but he was like always a father figure to me. He was there through all my enlistment and the day I swore in. Now we keep in contact every now and then, but that's always the person who helped me out. My grandfather was in the Army, and my uncle was in the Marines, and he's the one that got me interested because he was in during Korea, and he told me all about his experiences. Veterans Day is important to me because it just gives at least one day to recognize everybody who served and uh, just to thank them. Veterans Day means thanking whoever served because without them the country wouldn't function the way it functioned and one day when I finish my service I'll be a veteran too so there's always that future aspect of it. Jacob James and Michael are only three of the enlisting students here at Cedar Crest. Other enlisted students include 
Colin Briggs, Shane McKennis, William Sheets, and Nick Allwine. Thank you for your commitment to this country and for your selflessness in preserving our freedoms. We are on site of the monument built by freshman Zach Herzog to honor the veterans who fought in World War I. Sam Gerhardt is back in the studio with Zach Herzog to tell us more about this experience. Thanks, Pam. We have freshman Zach Herzog in the studio today to talk to him about a project that he started in May. So, Zach, can you tell us a little bit about your project? Uh, yes, I started this project in May, and I chose it for my Eagle Scout. Um, the Eagle Scout is an award of the highest rank in Boy Scouts, and I did this project for my great-grandparents. So what is the importance of this to you? Uh, like I said, the importance to this of this to me is my great-grandparents. They were both in World War II, and I wanted to give back to them and all the veterans. That's very inspiring. Um, how long did this project take you? It took me two months uh, from May until July. And can you tell us a little bit about what you did in the process? What I did in the process, I poured a concrete pad, played, laid bushes and flowers all around the concrete pad for all the blood that was shed in World War II, and I put a bench in the middle of the concrete pad to signify us coming together for World War II. That's very touching. If you want to find Zach's memorial, you can find it at Fort Indian Town Gap. Thank you for your time in the studio, Zach, and now we send it back to Pam. In school news, the Cedar Crest High School Drama Department is presenting Play On by Rick Abbott in the Cedar Crest High School Auditorium tonight and tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Tickets are available for purchase in the main lobby of the high school. General admission tickets are $4 for students and $6 for adults. Students who are interested in earning some money, the Jobs Available Board, located in the Skylight Locker area near the main office, has postings for a variety of jobs for all ages. Everything from working in food service to shoveling snow for the elderly. It's time to start building your job resume, so stop by and check out who's hiring. All students who participate in the Pennsylvania Math League contest, the second contest will be held on Tuesday, November 15th during period two in the cafeteria. Make sure you bring a calculator and something to write with. Let your second period teacher know that you will be missing in advance so you can make up work that will be missed. That's all for this week's edition of In Flight. A very special thank you to veterans and active military members for their service to this country and for protecting our freedoms that are sometimes taken for granted. I'm Pamela Kapolka. Make it a great day, Cedar Crest.